big train wreck. It was almost the beginning of the school year on the island of New Florida, and the trains on the tracks were being really useful and friendly, while the men trains and women trains did gender operating. Many trains like to haul products for other or yards, like Alexia is a mixed traffic engine, which means she can pull both passengers and freight. Amtrak is the largest passenger railroad in the United States, because it goes to nine cities in Canada and others in the United States. One day, Kirsten was hauling a goods train to the freight depot. She was being really useful. Mr. Cakester was waiting. He had an important job. A hundred and forty-three cars needs to be delivered to Boston, Massachusetts for the Blue Man Group, said Mr. Cakester. You must do it, Kirsten. I'm on it, sir, Kirsten said. And she steamed away from the depot on her way to the shunting yard. Thomas and Percy were there. How's it going here, Percy? asked Alexia. Pretty well, Percy said. Thomas and I are shunting freight cars. That's right, Percy, we are, said Thomas. And Kirsten steamed off with her freight train. I enjoy pulling freight trains, Kirsten said. Because 143 cars is a lot. And her wheels slipped and her engine roared and she puffed away from the yard. And then she entered the Northeast Corridor from Boston to Washington, D.C. Now this is how women trains do their work, Kirsten said because I'm the leading locomotive and the train was very long with Kirsten's horsepower and a whole bunch of cars they rolled down the track to be really useful indeed It was a long train. But Kirsten carried on. Further up ahead, the Amtrak Palmetto was making way to New York City Penn Station. And the passengers saw the whole train way ahead! It was a long one! I'm sure to make it on time, Kirsten said because I'm the best woman train New Florida has ever seen. But little did she know that there was trouble ahead. 
the palmetto zoomed by with its passengers, and Kirsten began to pick up speed. She raced the Palmetto. Whoopee! She said, This is the longest freight train I've ever hauled! Then, Nevi was parked in a siding with a load of Gatorade. Watch out, Nevi! I can't stop! called Kirsten. Her driver slammed on the emergency brakes. But it was too late! We're sorry about this, said Vanessa. We really are, said Xena. Doesn't matter which track we're on, Sasha said. It takes a lot for a train to stop, Sandy said. It won't be a big deal to clean up this mess, Misha said. No, it won't, said Nevi. I'm sure things will be better after the wreck is cleaned up. Juliet said. It will, it will be better, said Loria. We'll have everything back in order in no time, Becky said. And this is going to take ages, ended Nilma. No one was hurt or worse, but the wreck was devastating. I'm sure I'll get out of this wreck soon. A few minutes later, Alexia, Ida, Katie, Jackie, and Shelly were making their way to Cape Cod with their freight train. It was a long one. I'm sure Shelly's okay facing backwards, Katie said. I enjoy facing backwards, Shelly said. We should turn her around if she makes a three-point turn, Jackie said. That's a smart idea, said Alexia. But I'm sure we'll make it to the... Stop! called Shelly. The bridge is out! They came to a stop just in time to see everything. That looks awful, Alexia said. It does look awful, Ida said. And before long, Alexia's driver and fireman got into Shelly, and she steamed away from the wreck to clean everything up. And the brake van started to lead.
The train was long. But the engines pushed on. We'll turn you around so you can face the same way we're facing soon, puffed Jackie. Good idea, Jackie, said Alexia. We'll do that in no time. It feels good to face the same way as the leading unit. Katie said, because really useful women trains are good. They sure are, said Ida, because I'm the fastest engine ever. Sounds good to me, Alexia said. I'll be turned around after I make a three-point turn. Shelly said, but first, I'm going to shunt you four into the siding. Just then, the Amtrak a Carolinian was making way to Charlotte, North Carolina. It was being really useful. And then the whole train in reverse began to come towards it. The brake van was in the rear while the engines pushed back. And the Amtrak and the Carolinian passengers saw the whole train way ahead. Even though how bad that accident was, all the engines can only hope that there's nothing repeated in the future, especially something that's really bad. <sighs>